female attraction shit this female attraction shit on semen retention bro it's counterproductive I, you look first off when you retain it, especially for more than two weeks I'm on day 13 right now 14 we tomorrow this uh wait a minute uh headphones acting crazy I make sure my audio is straight this 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 uh this, this video is about like how people always want to express female attraction or attention but I feel like some of these guys that, that make channels only express female attraction while retaining just to get butt just to relapse so you want to get more female attraction so you would rather do two weeks of retention just to waste it bro get the fuck off my channel That sounds so, and that's not because I know I sound crazy. Like, oh, but you relapse a lot. I know I relapse a lot, but I wasn't trying to retain just to get pussy, nigga. I was doing that with, I was busting, and I was still getting pussy, nigga. I was still getting pussy while I was, uh, 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 busting on my fucking phone and shit. They all still getting pussy, nigga. So that that's not the fucking point. Now, of course, it's a fact. It's not placebo. Uh, placebo. You're gonna get more attention from females when you retain but you get more attention and attraction from everybody technically everybody like it's either they hate you more or they love you more when you're retaining female or male no matter if you straight or gay that shit don't fucking matter the people in general are going to rock with you or not rock with you and you won't really it's, it's ways about it because like, you may have so much energy within you and they already not like you. So when they see that energy, they may either switch up. They could be like, oh, what's going on with this guy? I kind of like him now. Or it could easily be like, it popped a trunk, bro. This nigga tripping. And you ain't said did nothing, nothing shit to nobody. And niggas ready to kill you over that. This energy is sacred, but this energy is dangerous at the same time, depending on how you use it. Nigga, you could die with this energy still. Like, don't walk around thinking you actually God to where, nigga, nobody can't touch you. Nigga, you can still die. You still bleed like everybody else. But with tension and the energy that you have, it's so much spirituality with this in, within this shit. I believe in God and Jesus Christ. God is creation. So, with him... And being creation and being the guy or the person that made mother nature mother nature in the universe is going to confide to you is going to help you is going to nourish you the more days that you retain and with all that being said you're going to have good fortune the more days that you go along and you're going to have like kind of like more good luck in a way right you're going to have more good luck <clears throat> so with that being said people can feel like they will feel like they're god because they may be able to do some shit that people, most people can't do, and they think that they just they can never really die unless it's their time. Like they just die of old age. You see what I'm saying? But nah, that don't mean that the next guy that's not retained and look, he looking at you in a grimacy way, like this nigga goofy. Who is this nigga? And you may say the wrong thing, but with retention, you gonna say what you feel. What, when you retain it for you're gonna say what you feel all the time you're gonna say like what you think or you know how you really think about shit instead of you trying to bypass it because you don't want to piss them off you're either gonna say what you think or just walk away the, the more you i guarantee it so that's why i say it's dangerous because you can say something that you mean to say to the wrong motherfucker i don't give a fuck what you're doing with your life and they they, they ain't got shit to live for if you're dealing with a nigga that ain't got shit to live for Bro, it don't matter if you retain it or not. You can still die. Like, I'm being legit. I'm not finna sit here and be like, retention is everything. Oh, you can never... No, you can still die if you do some dumb shit on retention. And you, you're... It's funny. You're more liable to do dumb, more dumb shit on retention depending on how your habits are. That's why it's good to have... To build up your habits and get good habits while you're retaining to be a better man instead of you having bad habits and you're retaining. Now you might just knock a nigga out. You might just kill a nigga. Or a nigga might just kill you faster than what it could happen if you wasn't retaining actually at that point you shouldn't even be retaining if you got really really bad habits where you're just doing everything the wrong way 
but you got all this built up semen inside of you, especially if you're a very sexually, highly natured guy like me. Like if you're a very sex, a highly sexual, uh, like a high sex drive, if you have a very high sex drive, oh man. You'd be dead yesterday if you were taking 14 days and you did everything wrong. When I mean everything wrong, there's a lot of ways to go about retaining, but basically just building good habits. And let's let's not say, because I know how we perceive good and bad, but most people perceive good in the same way. So if I'm talking to a regular motherfucker like you, and you perceive good as being good and bad as being bad, like how most people should, then all the good habits that you build up while retaining will be will help you but if you're still on the bad habits and you add even more bad habits while you're retaining you it's going to it's going to show but you, regardless you should you still got god life within you doing bad or good on retaining so if you you can quickly adjust to, to the good habits while you're retaining too that's the good part about retaining is that you can really do some fucked up shit but you could easily turn that shit around if you've already been say you're on day 21 and you over here <clears throat> You over here, well, I wouldn't even say edging, because edging, you're going to relapse regardless if you're edging. But let's just say you're over here still giving it females hell of attention. On, 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 on. That's what you're doing, though. You're giving her your seed. But if you're giving her a hell of attention, not retention, you're giving females hell of attention that you know you shouldn't be at certain times. While you're retaining, they still getting that good energy from you. I'm not saying don't talk to nobody at all. Just be in your fucking house and just... Ugh. No, be a human being. But you know what I'm talking about when you giving girls too much attention, bro. And you on day 21 giving her all the attention throughout that day. What about yourself, dog? What happened to you? You see what I'm saying? That's what I mean. If you And if you've been focused on females... Matter of fact, for you to be on day 21 and you're giving a girl your, your attention at that day, then you've already been thinking about females for the past four or five days. To, and it led it led to you talking to a female in person but just like how i was on day 89 and even though i, I made it to day 95 on day 89 started my process of me relapsing on day 95 because on day 89 i gave a female my attention and a lot of my attention that whole day on day 89 toward day 95 i relapsed to the lord knows and then the next day i was having sex with a female consistently up until you know what I'm saying? Just relapse, just going on the binge again. So, but that, but that's what you would want, though. Female attraction, right? You would want to just put all that work in and then just throw it, throw it away. You just put all that work in and you just throw this, you just throw that shit away, huh? I'm gonna just work my fuck. I'm gonna work hard as I can. I'm gonna get these gains in and all this shit. Do you not understand when you bust a nut, you lose gains? Yes, nigga. You lose blood flow. You lose. You you literally lose blood when you ejaculate. Now, depending on how many days you don't win, if you don't win a year, you're not gonna lose a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Because you've had an excess amount. You've you've had so much in you at that point. And then, but. This is just the thing with niggas that do long streaks. They're usually the ones that go on a long streak of just. Argh! You feel me? That was one of them. And I wasn't even on, on a long. Take it how you want it. Because I could have been on a long streak. If you consider a long streak. Uh, like three months to some people. 95 days, right? Obviously, I know three months is 90 days. But, you know, I, I hit 95 days. But like I said, I count 89. So technically, I hit, I'm right under three months anyway, right? But the guys have been doing six months and above, well, a year, a year and two years plus, they can bust a couple of nuts. They can bust two or three nuts and not feel fucking dead. But at the same time, why not just retain as long as you can? Like if you're on six months and you bust a nut, you still go back to day one. Even though you feel not like your shitty ass motherfucker because if you combine if you combine no fat and a senior attention for six months i mean i've only did it for three months but i know if i doubled that and did six months oh boy 
I could bust a couple of nuts and it still come back the next day and feel good. If even if you add sun gazing to that with cold showers, eating right, like just being a healthy human being all around, being fully natural. You see what I'm saying? Taking your ashwagandha. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, you, uh, I still wouldn't risk it because yeah, you can bust a nut. You're still losing a lot of the nutrients. You have so much in you now, you're not gonna lose it all. Like you going like let's say you had 120 percent because you just you hit you had so many days now. You bust another, you gonna be at like still 75 percent. Bust another one, 40 percent. You see me? Another one. Now you at about 35. Then you hit 20. But you binge to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like the the better you get at retaining, and then you end up relapsing. The hornier you get right after that first relapse so when you have so much amped up energy in you but then you learn how to control it but then let's say you decide like you know it's my time to relapse you know i don't know why the fuck you do that after a year but hey i mean i did after three months so i don't know your reason but i know my reason i was weak that's why i did that shit i just wanted pleasure um but at the end of the day if you hit a year and then let's say you end up relapsing you'll be good just get back on the pony or just get back on the ride I guarantee you, if you hit a year and then you relapse one day after that year, and you and you and you just stay locked in for the next two months, you feel like you back on that year again. But see, if we was focused and one pointed the whole time about something else other than females, we would never be on no streak. We would just be retained. We would just be fucking absent, that motherfuckers doing living life. We would just be celibate, motherfuckers living life, and or we will be. No, let me say this because. The world is overpopulated right now. So motherfuckers can be like, oh, oh, population and retain. No, no, we need, we need, we need people. If you have sex, that's how you create babies and we need lives. And There's too many niggas on the earth right now. I'm not saying genocide, but no, it's a lot of niggas on this earth. So uh, instead of us, why not we just be some celibate, abstinent motherfuckers living life, trying to get to our goals for a year or two? How bad does that sound? If we all just stop busting for one or two years. Half of y'all niggas look, watching me now probably got kids. Or done had hella done nuts. You done busted. No matter if it's on the phone screen, computer screen, in a sock, in a bitch, on a bitch mouth. In a, you know, in, anywhere. Anywhere, bro. You done did it multiple times. And now you're here watching this video. Because I've been in the same fucking spot, bro. So why not just take a year or two off, bro? I'm being nice right now. I'm not even being how I should be. Like, I'm being nice to y'all niggas. Because honestly, you should just retain for the rest of your fucking life, nigga. Because we read and cursed. We read and did so many damn curses to our families and shit, nigga. Because this shit get deep, nigga. When you want to talk about busting nuts, that shit's, cur that shit's cursing your fucking family, nigga. You and your family, you don't even know it. But let me just pipe down, bro. Because y'all don't even, even want to hear all that right now. At the end of the day, let's just, let's just try to retain from anywhere from at least six months to a year. And tell me how you fucking feel, dog. You got me? All right.